everyone good afternoon my name is sr prishti you are watching my beautiful channel love you science so in this lecture i am going to cover the concept of electrical source types of electrical source like current source and voltage source and most importantly how do we convert current source to voltage source and voltage source to current source and finally based on that we will solve some numerical okay so pehle dekhte hain electrical source kya hota hai electrical source is Uh, something which can able to deliver some electrical power like as i have told in my previous video generator and battery these are the sources but now the point is actual definition of source is what which can energize the circuit which can energize the electrical circuit by providing voltage or current so based on that we can classify source in two categories one is voltage source second is current source now the point is what is voltage source voltage source matlab the source which can energize the electrical circuit by providing the potential difference or voltage and current source kya hota hai which can energize the circuit by providing current right again we can classify voltage source in uh, two categories like ideal voltage source and practical voltage source similarly we can classify current source in two categories like ideal current source and practical current source so first we'll write the definition of source so a source kya hota hai electrical source matlab which can provide which provides which provides electrical energy electrical energy to the circuit or to the load okay right? source are basically two type one is voltage source second is current source so voltage source kya hota hai which provides which energizes the electrical circuit by providing the voltage matlab which can energize the circuit by provide by providing potential difference and current source kya hai which can energize the circuit by providing current ठीक है अगेन वोल्टेज सोर्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इन टू कैटेगरीज वन इज आइडियल वोल्टेज सोर्स सेकेंड इज प्रैक्टिकल वोल्टेज सोर्स तो वोल्टेज सोर्स वोल्टेज सोर्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू कैटेगरीज वन इज आइडियल वोल्टेज सोर्स सेकेंड इज प्रैक्टिकल वोल्टेज सोर्स So in ideal voltage source, what happen? The internal resistance of that source will be zero. So first point is the internal resistance of that source will be zero. So what is the definition of ideal voltage source? मतलब it uh, provides a constant terminal voltage. मतलब it maintains. You can say it maintains. a constant terminal voltage constant terminal voltage no matter how much current it will draw let's take a example of ideal voltage source it has no resistance let voltage is 10 volt and we are connecting a load of resistance uh, like 2 ohm this is not internal resistance this is the resistance of load so now the potential difference or the voltage which you are providing to the load will constant irrespective of any change of that resistor or that parameter right so matlab that source is able to maintain the constant potential difference across here theek okay? hai next is practical voltage source kya practical voltage source matlab there must be some internal resistance there must be some internal resistance and it will not maintain the constant terminal voltage will not maintain the constant maintain the constant terminal voltage why because of internal resistance theek okay, hai what is the circuit diagram okay so it has a internal resistance and that internal resistance is connected in series with that source matlab ye jo part hai 
that is the symbol of practical voltage source then after we can connecting a load of load resistance r okay so here the current the the that supply voltage will not maintain the potential difference since if the circuit is closed and it has some internal resistance due to internal resistance some potential will be drop here or some voltage will drop here matlab the output voltage or terminal voltage will be less than the supply voltage supply voltage theek hai but here the output voltage or terminal voltage will be equal to the supply voltage so that is the basic difference between ideal source and practical ideal voltage source and practical voltage source theek hai now coming to current source current source kya hota hai current source can provide current to the load current source uh, can classify in two categories like ideal current source and practical current source so in case of ideal current source there is no internal resistance but in case of practical uh, current source there is some internal resistance which will be connected parallel to the ideal current source so current source ka example kya hai photovoltaic cell and transistors so these are the element which will act as current source so pehle likh lete hain current source kya hai current source matlab which can provide current to the uh, terminal or to the load which can provide current to the load theek hai example kya hai current source ka example kya hai photovoltaic cell photovoltaic cell like your transistor so these are element which will act as current source so current source are two type one is ideal current source second is practical current source or you can say real current source real current source theek okay? hai so so we'll compare now we'll compare between ideal current source and practical current source dekho so ideal current source kya which supply same current to any resistance connected across the terminal matlab irrespective of the value of load resistance the current will be constant i'm taking example here let there is a current source and this one is load resistance let load resistance is 10 ohm or anything and the magnitude of current source is 2 ampere so matlab the current which will be coming from the source that will pass through the load is 2 ampere so irrespective of any kind of changes so here there is no internal resistance no internal resistance is it clear So in ideal current source there is no internal resistance, but in case of practical current source, the current source is in parallel with a resistance. The internal resistance, I can say smaller, and this one is our load resistance, R L. So getting the difference in case of ideal current source there is no internal resistance but in practical current source there is a internal resistance which will be connected parallel to the circuit so usually that internal resistance will be high usually this resistance internal resistance is high so when it become infinite so that will act as open circuit so maximum current can flow to the load so or you can say the internal resistance here internal resistance is very high usually we are taking infinite if it is infinite then maximum current can flow to the load so that is the basic difference between ideal and practical current source theek hai again i repeat ideal current source mein resistance nahi hota hai internal resistance nahi hota hai but in practical current source mein internal resistance hota hai dekho ye ho gaya aapka practical current source ye jo portion ye portion hai ideal current source so that is the basic difference okay so now we'll uh, move to another part the conversion of voltage source to current source and current source to voltage source so the conversion of voltage source to current source and vice versa so pehle ye dekhte conversion of voltage source to current source kya hai let we have a voltage source of magnitude v we are talking about practical voltage source right so there is a resistance r and this one is your load resistance okay 
तो ये हो गया आपका प्रैक्टिकल वोल्टेज सोर्स सो वी कैन कन्वर्ट दिस वोल्टेज सोर्स टू करेस्पॉन्डिंग करेंट सोर्स द मैग्नेट्यूड ऑफ करेंट सोर्स विल बी आई एंड दैट वैल्यू ऑफ आई विल बी वी बाय आर ठीक है एंड द इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस विल बी कनेक्टेड पैरेलल विद द रेजिस्टर टू द सोर्स राइट सो हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस विल नॉट चेंज the value of internal resistance will not change see voltage source is in series with a internal resistance that can be converted to a current source will be parallel to the resistance and remember the magnitude of current will change which will be v by r but the magnitude of internal resistance will not change that will be constant that will not change okay so that is the conversion like example dekho uh, let uh, we have a voltage source of let we have a voltage source of 20 volt internal resistance 2 ohm okay so we can convert that 20 that voltage source to current source a current kitna hoga voltage by resistance kitna hoga 10 ampere and the value of resistance will be 2 ye ho gaya conversion that is the conversion of voltage source from, uh, from voltage source to current source so similarly current source to voltage source kya hoga current source to वोल्टेज सोर्स हैव ए करेंट सोर्स हियर मैग्नीट्यूड इज आई एंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रैक्टिकल करेंट सोर्स एंड इंटरनल डिस्टेंस इज आर एंड हियर दर इज एक्सटर्नल रेजिस्टेंस ठीक है सो ये हो गया आपका प्रैक्टिकल करेंट सोर्स सो यू कैन कन्वर्ट दैट करेंट सोर्स टू वोल्टेज सोर्स So what is the voltage source here? The magnitude will be V, and that V will be I into R, and that internal resistance will connected in series with that uh, source, and the the value the magnitude of resistance will not change. The magnitude of internal resistance will not change. Only the magnitude of voltage will change, and then finally you connect the load resistance. Right? So we can take an example. Here will be your. What is it? practical voltage source so you can take example so let your current source is 2 ampere and resistance is 1 ohm so what is the corresponding voltage the voltage will be 2 into 1 is 2 volt and resistance will be 1 matlab 2 ampere iska matlab kya 2 ampere current source in parallel with 1 ohm resistors can converted to a voltage of uh, a practical voltage source of voltage 2 volt and internal resistance of 1 ohm or resistance of 1 ohm we can say okay clear let us take example i have taken a small example So we'll find out current source two ohm resistor by using source conversion principle. So here we have a current source parallel with a resistor. So we can convert that entire part to voltage source. So we can convert this entire part to voltage source. Let's say two terminal are AB. Can I write the AB? So we can convert. So as I have told, current source in parallel with a resistor can convert it to voltage source in series with the same resistor. So here the voltage will be. कितना होगा फाइव इंटू वन तो फाइव वोल्ट एंड रेजिस्टेंस विल बी कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज विच विल बी वन ओम ठीक है सो ये टर्मिनल क्या मिल गया ए एंड बी मिल गया देन यू कनेक्ट द टू ओम रेजिस्टर हियर सो नाउ यू सी वन ओम एंड टू ओम बोथ आर इन सीरीज सो व्हाट इज द इक्वल एंड रेजिस्टेंस वन प्लस टू दैट इज थ्री ओम एंड वोल्टेज इज गिवन फाइव वोल्ट सो वट इज करेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू ओम्स क्लब वी बाई आर So this is five by three ampere. मतलब current through the circuit is five by three ampere. Okay. So similarly we can take another example. So here. Let us find out current through this branch. Let this ten ampere, two ohm, twenty ampere. Let this is one uh, ohm. 
okay and this one is 3 ohm so we find out current through 3 ohm resistor by using source conversion principle so pehle what we will do so here look at the circuit 10 ampere current source in parallel with 2 ohm resistor similarly 220 ampere current source parallel with 1 ohm resistor so you can convert current so uh, current source to voltage source so here what is the voltage source 10 into 2 this will be 20 volt and resistance become uh, same which will be 2 ohm let us name the, the terminal a b so this point is a and b then here uh, a point c there do a point d there do similarly if you consider from right hand side 20 and 1 ohm so what is the voltage the voltage will be again 20 volt i into r and resistance become same resistance will be 1 ohm right a terminal d a terminal c so in between a and c there is one more resistor which is 3 ohm and bd bd sorted so what is the net voltage in the circuit if you apply kvl what is the net voltage here 20 volt here also 20 volt net voltage will be zero so what is the current current will be zero are you getting my point here net voltage is zero so the current will be zero so question is if i change it if i change it 20 ampere so ye kitna ho jayega 40 volt ho jayega 20 into 2 so what is the net voltage net voltage will be 20 the oppositely disconnected 40 and 20 if you apply kvl net voltage is 20 and net resistance kitna hai 2 ohm 3 ohm and 1 2 3 5 plus 1 6 and what is the current voltage by resistance 20 upon 6 agar ye 20 maine de diya 20 isliye zero hai but anything it can be given right so with this i am ending this lecture hope you guys understood what i have explained thank you so much for watching my video thank you